Well done, Harry. You found the fire seeds. Now I can show you what I need them for. But it's our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Up you come, me beauty. Ain't he lovely? I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Hmm, I'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks again. Harry, you'll never guess what I've found. <laughs> this is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch, but first years like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes though, but only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Malfoy stole my Rememberall. <laughs> he ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the Rememberall to find my toad. Please help me. Come on, I'll show you where he went. Bottom has gone snivelling to you, and you want me to give you his precious rememberall. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter! And you better watch out for my bludgers.
<laughs> Damaged my broomstick, Potter! Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. find my toad now. <laughs> I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, deputy headmistress of Hogwarts and head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. Wow! You're going to play Quidditch! And as a seeker, too! I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. Everyone's talking about you becoming a Seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest Seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first. I just know it. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two meters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! Ah! Amazing skill! Potter's gaining! Here comes a bludger! Here comes the Hufflepuff Seeker! Well now, if 
it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name. It's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Is that a library book in your grimy little hand? Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. Hey, it's a piece of a map. Hold on. This is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora! Wow, look! I've opened that rusty door. Come on, let's see where it leads. Wow, I'll bet this is where my brothers have hidden the sloth brain that Snape's after. Let's split up and have a look about. 